What's up guys and girls, it's Q. And for today's video, we'll be back in the A-10 Warthog attacking a Scud factory over Syria. We're pretty close to the action, so let's get inside and see what we can find. We're about 26 miles out. We can go ahead and start marking things. Now it said there was some kind of SAM protection. Looks like a... Uh, maybe an SA-19? So, four miles. All right, cool. So we'll go ahead. And Magnum Roland and Ray Root. Go ahead and set some mark points. See if there's any other threats out here. Oh, looks like there's another one. We want to flip these first, because that way we can switch them back and forth with our mark points, which is, uh, there. So now our mark points will be our speed. So when we do that, we can switch them. See how fast that is? This is really helping us out with our Mavericks when we get close, because they will launch on us. So now that we have our two anti-air threats there, you can see the scuds. And then let's see, we got infantry, some type of BTRs out there. So we'll mark these BTRs. We're almost within range, so we'll get just a little closer and then we'll take care of it. Let's go ahead and flip on our, select our Mavericks. Go to the Maverick page, everything's on, Master Arm on. Let's go ahead and slave our Maverick head to our target. Just right, it's just a little. It looks like he's waking up. comes a tricky part. Nope. Disengage autopilot. Trying to get that Maverick to find it. Nope. Nope. Really likes that scud, huh guys? There we go. Savagery 1 rifle. Okay. Switch to our next one. Okay. Jimmy one one, we're on fourteen. Looking at me. Let's get our Maverick head zoomed in. Not that VMP. Should be launching this soon. There goes rifle. Alright, we'll go defensive. It knows diving. Altitude. Pull up. Pull up. Warthog is always fun. All right, looks like we got one. Sam, maybe two Sam. Actually, may have hit a scud. Oh shit. Let's try and look up. Oh, there we go. Oh boy. <laughs> looks like that warhead killed a lot of infantry as well. So let's do a little PA. TGP, see what's left. As long as we got the, yeah. Right, rifle. Oops. Rifle. off. Let those do their work real quick. Right. There's 
one, two, three. Go out because there's a minimum range on the uh, Mavericks. So we don't want that to interfere. So that is our speed right there. Clean everything up with some rockets and guns. So we should have. Uh, All right, let's go out. And turn back in. So that was she went right for Rounds complete for the Mavericks. Let's drop a GPU on this next one. Alright. 10 seconds. 5. Start holding weapon release. And pickle. have auto laser turned on so it should turn on here in a second there it goes you can see the laser codes firing away just make sure we keep that camera on it disengage the laser to the next one so go back out reset drop another bomb Start holding down the weapon release and pickle. Five hundred pounds on the way. All right, now a new threat has presented itself. It's super pretty. Oh, can't ever have fun out here. Lasers firing. Check. All right. So hopefully. All that stuff's taken care of. They're all in those little covers. I don't know how well they'll do, but they're pretty light skinned, so. Let's roll in. There's all our targets. The top reticle is our gun, the bottom one is our rocket, so. Then range of the rockets and start dumping. These are splash. So. Now the gun. Pull up, pull up. Altitude, altitude. Oh pull shit. Up, pull up. Woohoo! Oh, we got one. I'll just use gun. I'm not a big rocket fan, so I like the gun. I tried some unguided rockets that time. Should be able to knock them all out. Turn the gun back off. Alright, let's hit this. See that? Alright, well they're all dead now. Let's do one more little flyover, make sure I think everything's dead. So, this should complete. So, alright guys, thanks for watching. All targets destroyed here. I'll see you on the next video. You guys rock. How about one more Burt? Alright. You guys rock. Peace.